Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to revisit uh, the Willie Lynch letter because, you know, when you read through the Willie Lynch letter, even though, you know, some people have said, oh, that is not a real letter. Well, why is it so accurate to how black people have been divided here in America and also throughout the world? Why is so divide so accurate? Very, very accurate. Well, I want to read through this just a little bit and just point out the, the, the power of division and how we as you know, black people, even globally, participate in this particular division. And if you want to strip away uh, the ability of racism, white supremacy to keep controlling black folk, the key is, is to get rid of the division and how division is used. So in a letter, as we looking at here, he, he said in my bag here, I have a foolproof method and say for controlling the black slaves. He said, I guarantee every one of you that if it's installed correctly, in which it has, he said it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. He said, my method is simple. Any member of your family or your overseer can use it. He said, I've outlined a number of differences among the slaves. He said, and I take these differences and make them bigger. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. Now listen to that. Fear, distrust, and envy. What do they do with the police? Why do they use the propaganda with police, right? They show a, a police officer gunning down a black person and running on a loop every day in the media. Now the police actually, if you do the research, they shoot more white people than even black people. But based on the media propaganda is why I say it's propaganda is to, it will make you think that they are only doing it to black people. So they show this, this in a loop, and what is the loop supposed to do? Make you fear. You understand? That's part of the tactics of Willie Lynch is to get you to fear. Same thing during slavery. They would take a slave out, beat the slave, do all kind of horrible and gross things to the slave, even bug break slaves in front of everybody. All the slaves on the plantation. Why? For fear. He continued to say that, that he also used distrust. Why distrust? Because when a person distrusts you, a lot of times you're trying to gain that trust of that person. So if you're constantly trying to gain the trust and you'll never get it because that's a tactic that's being used, that's control. He say in envy for the control purposes, jealousy, right? Validation is part of it. Oh, why this person get to be in the good graces of massa and I can't. So you are not like another black person cause they in the good graces of massa, right? It's all about control. Now he continues to say these methods have worked on my modest plantation in the West Indies or the Caribbean. He said it will work throughout the South. He said take this simple little list of differences and think about them. He said on top of my list is age, but it is there because it starts with the letter A. The second is color or shade. There is intelligence, sex size of plantations, status of pl on plantation, attitude of owners, whether the slaves live in the valley, on the hill, east, west, north, south, have fine hair, coarse hair, or is tall or short. Now, listen to that list. If you look in the black community today, he mentioned age. The younger people don't like the older people, and the older people don't like the younger people. He talks about color and shade, colorism. Not only do we have colorism in this society in America, but we actually practice colorism within our own community. You know this. Intelligence, AKA boule. Oh, well, I'm smarter than the average black person. I'm part of this group called a boule. The rest of them are, are, are underneath me. I'm next to massa. Of course, you're talking about size, say sex, size, plantation. Now, you know, you can go on, so on and so forth, right? Attitude of the owners. Status of the plantations, what I'm talking about. Oh, well, I'm close to the massa. I'm getting crumbs from the table. That's a division. You understand what I'm saying? And while I'm liking the boule because they all kind of fit into the status of the plantation. Uh, they fit on intelligence, you know, things like that. Now, they say where the slaves live, right? So where you live, a lot of times they can create a division that way. Well, I'm better than them that live on the east side. I'm better than them that live on the west side. I'm better than them because I live in the suburbs or... I live, you know, over here where, where they live at behind in a gated community. I'm, I'm better than the rest of them. Right. He said, have fine hair or coarse hair. 
Now think about that. How many times we say in the black community, oh, this, this is good hair. This is bad hair. How many times have we said that? All this, all of our issues is linked to things like Willie Lynch. Now, no other group in this country have been picked apart in that manner. No other group. Every other group have never been told nothing about their color, their hair. They have never been uh, tried to be divided with age, with intelligence, with none of this. So when other groups try to compare themselves to us, this is why it's kind of silly when I hear that. And they try to do that so they can try to get a leg up because we are the only people in this country who's had a uh, story like ours, right? Nobody else has our story, period. Now you continue to say, now that you have a list of differences, is I shall give you an outline of action. But before that, I shall assure you that distrust is stronger than trust and envy is stronger than adulation, respect or admiration. He says that the black slave after receiving this indoctrination should carry on and will become self refueling and self generation for hundreds of years, maybe thousands. He's saying, don't forget, you must pitch the old black male versus the young black male and the young black male against the old black male. You must use the dark skinned slaves, versus the light-skinned slaves and the light-skinned slaves versus the dark-skinned slaves. You must use the female versus the male and the male versus the female. You must also have your white servants and overseers distrust all blacks. He said, but it's necessary your slaves trust and depend on us. They must love, respect, and trust only us. Now, that portion right there is what I want to home in on a little bit more than anything else is that he taught with the folks, they must distrust all black people. It don't matter if you are a saint or a sinner. It don't matter if you are a president, an astrophysicist, a doctor. It don't matter if you are homeless, you are not to trust and have distrust of all black people. Have we seen that in society? We've seen this. So when they say that Willie Lynch is fake, it's not fake based on what we see. Now he said it's necessary to have your slaves, which is the black people trust and depend on us that they must love respect and trust only us. What's one way that I noticed that more than anything, I'll say something on this platform or say it on our, African Diaspora News Channel app. Make sure you download that in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Join us and get a membership there. Um, it, it helps support our show, and, and we also show content there that we cannot show on YouTube due to YouTube rules. And when I say something on this platform, many, many times you've heard me say it. I've gotten emails in the past from people, and they say, oh, Phil, you need to listen to this guy. Listen to what he says. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to hear something profound I never heard before. And then I played a video and it's a video of, of, of a, a gentleman within their community. And he literally saying the exact same thing I said verbatim. And I'm like, I say this all the time. What's so special about him? What did he say that was so profound? A lot of black people will only respect and trust it unless it come from them. I said before, I can literally train up a white woman, put her, put her here and have her speak exactly like me. And the white woman would, would gain more viewership. The white woman would gain more love than I ever could gain. All she gotta do is talk like me. That's it. On this same platform, this, I do know because I've seen the responses when I interview white women or women of the communities saying things similar to what I'm saying and the views are through the roof. So no, Willie Lynch is not a fake thing because I've seen that when he say you must, they must love, think about it. They, the police will, take our children out of here. And how many times have you seen black people forgiving? I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. 
but you don't forgive another black person. If they step on your shoe, you ready to take them out of here. But with, with, with the folks, you love them, you forgive them, you have a definite respect for them. When you go into one of their businesses, you're gonna follow all the rules possible. But when you go into a black business or some black establishment, you don't wanna respect them. You look down on them. Matter of fact, you are angry if a black person has some sort of rules on you, demand you respect them and their business, you get angry with that. Remember the turkey leg cut when they say, hey, y'all can't come in here looking in an old kind of way. Y'all gonna have to put some clothes on, have some decorum. Black folks right here in Houston and also throughout the country got upset with that brother and sister for having some sort of rules to come into their establishment. But if it's a white owned business and they told you the exact same rule, let's say a place like Steak 48 here in Houston, if Steak 48 tell you you got to wear certain clothes to come into Steak 48, you're not arguing with them. You're not telling them nothing. You're going to follow those rules and be glad to follow them. You, so when he said that if you follow these rules here, it, it, like telling the, the folks, they will be self-generating, self-replicating. And that's exactly what a lot of you have done. It's the truth. Now he said, gentlemen, he said, these kids are the keys to control. He said, use them. Have your wives and children use them. Never miss an opportunity. He said, if used intensively for one year, the slaves themselves will remain perpetually distrustful. Thank you, gentlemen. But it's also a part that, you know, I want to talk about eventually, maybe a little bit more down the line with it, which always talks about, but they always will be a one or a few that we'll see right through what we're doing. And that's our greatest fear. In other words, a black person that's, you know, say, wait a minute, I see what they doing, but the key to this is division. Okay. Divide, divide, divide. But at the same time, we have to be realistic because I remember when we even talked about, you know, uh, the African diaspora news channel app and how important it is, you know, to us to have our own and support our own is very, very important. Some people say, well, why can't all of y'all get on one uh, app or one website? Well, the folks don't even do that because it's a, it's a diversity of thought. That's like telling the folks, get on AB, ABC, CBS, Fox, all y'all have one website, one app. No, because it's a diversity of thought. I may have a, a, a thought, somebody else may have a thought, and we all need platforms because if you have one platform and they go down, then they, you're done. So no, we need a diversity of programs, which is very, very important. So we can't even be dividing on that. We need to support each other and make sure we support what's important. But what we have to do is get rid of division because as you know, division is what's used and they constantly doing that. They promote that light skin, dark skin, male, female, you know, but when we on code with each other and say we on code just as a community, we don't do that division by no color. We don't do no division by no hair. We don't do no division by age. We don't do no division about, you know, economic status, where you live, where she lives. No, we are on code with each other. The only time we're going to divide is on the issue of good versus evil. You're supposed to divide from evil and embrace good. So if people in the community are doing evil things like going along to get along, uh, uh, and supporting a system that's against the community. Okay. We supposed to divide from you. We don't supposed to be going along with that. We supposed to be calling that out and that's right for us to do that. It is, but if it's not nothing going along with good and evil, we have to stay on code and trust me when we on code with each other and unified and not allowing none of their trickery, none of the trickery that is given by because the devil, the Bible even teach that the devil likes to, to, to work in trickery, none of that trickery. Right. And we just focus on being on code and, and focusing on our community. And that's why we, they always want us to, to, to pull us away from focusing on our community. That's another way they, they try to divide us because some of us say that's where we're on the community. They'll say, no, we got to go virtue signal with everybody else. Well, I always say this, in order for us to really be whole, we got to focus on our community and our community only. We can't virtue signal. We're not in, even in an economic position to virtue signal with other groups. And then at times there are certain issues that's in the world right now, no matter what position you take, you're wrong. 
So I'm never going to put myself in a position where I'm wrong. No matter what I say, I just won't say nothing. And that's just bottom line because I want to take all my energy to help our community and never feel bad about having that attitude. Say, no, I'm focusing on our community and what we're doing. So this is why even how we run our company here, we don't run our company on division. We run our company on, we work together. We trust each other and we going to do this thing. We go through our ups and downs, of course, but with your help and support, and understanding this is one of the most important platforms that you can support. And also we talked about recently how it is, it's really important to download the African diaspora news channel app and the Apple app store and Google play and join there that that's how we can sure up what we're doing. Um, because that's also, and also supporting other black businesses as well. You know, just cause, just because we're supporting, we, that's why we partner with other people. Like we partnered with the real South Africa. Again, we partner with them, uh, to do the trip. In, to Johannesburg and Durban. Why? Because number one, we should be supporting each other. It can't just be people supporting me, but we have to support each other. And when you support other people like the real South Africa, partner with them, take our people out of here in that system of war that's constantly going on and giving us a break, you know, at least a 10 day break where we could eat some good food, be with the brothers and sisters, enjoy our time, I mean, that's things like that is what's important. It's not only just getting support, but it's also giving support to our brothers and sisters who are doing great things. And I'm always going to partner with great people in our community who do great things. It's not saying that when you go on a trip that somebody telling you to move anywhere. No, it's you taking a great trip, enjoying yourself because I see every other group of people going, enjoy themselves in the African continent, South Africa in particular. I definitely see them. So why can't black Americans go have a great time, eat some good food, um, enjoy the air, you know, enjoy the air. Yes. Enjoy that. Uh, see some, some sites you wouldn't uh, see here in America. Why not? And so that's why I say that that's partnered with them and we have, let's sell out that tour. You know, we have, uh, you know, the spots open. All you gotta do is go down to the pin comment and, and send an email to, to, to Mark and Dr. Latosh. They don't get with you. You can play a payment plan and also you can, um, you know, make payments. It's, it's April of next year. So what a great time. I say you can give somebody that as a Christmas gift. Say, Hey, I got a trip for you to the continent. Take your family. When I took my family, it was great. I took my grandson, you know, we celebrated his birthday in South Africa. His fourth birthday, we celebrated in South Africa. It was great. And uh, my, my nine year old, my wife, my kids, we all went and had a great time. And I know you will too. So make sure you utilize that email and sign up, but don't let them to continue to divide us. If anything, we have to be more and more together because we are actually being more and more on code. And that is scaring them, especially with this election coming up in 2024.